guys, what's up? This is Tom Burkhart with the 2018 BMW M550i xDrive. This absolutely magnificent machine is the closest thing you can get to an M5 without the M5 badge proper. We're looking at about 3.9 seconds zero to 60 time, thanks to the all-wheel drive system and twin turbocharged V8, making 456 horsepower. What's up guys, this is Tom Burkhart from Cars Daily. <sighs> launch control start in the 2018 BMW 550X Drive. The launch control start is significantly more aggressive than, uh, than it is with a standard brake torque launch. And there's huge, huge upshift uh, power burst that comes in right when the next gear engages. It's pretty phenomenal. Uh, so of course this 2018 M550i xDrive is only available in all-wheel drive which dramatically improves its 0-60 to 60 sprint performance and makes this the quickest 5 series including M5 um, that's ever been made until until this most recent one. There's a squirrel. Go away squirrel. Uh, so this, uh, this M550 is absolutely ferociously fast. Four point four liter twin turbocharged, each a dual twin scroll turbochargers in the V of the four point four liter V eight, making four hundred fifty six horsepower, and then four hundred eighty foot pounds of torque from like eighteen hundred RPM or maybe seventeen hundred RPM. Basically nothing. It, it just has all that almost five hundred foot pounds of torque to dump right off the right out of the gate, um, which makes the car extremely rapid and uh, not one to trifle with. So this new five fifty is just really a special machine. Um, I'm excited to go out and do a video review of the car. Oh god, what is this? Because we have so much great footage. Oh, I'm going around. Oh, shit, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, we have so much great footage, like aerial drone footage, including uh, as well as like uh, fast flybys, some launch starts. Um, I mean, it really runs the gamut. We've got a lot of great stuff to put in here. Um, as well as uh, as well as this drive review itself, oh, these bikers are really going to be a problem. But uh, all right, so let's dive in. So um, structural review: um, How does this M550 really fit into the new 5 Series lineup, and um, how does its performance feel on this on this really speedy road? And then um, wrapping up, we'll talk about price and uh, some of the equipment equipment and options that are on this specific car. Wow, it's fast. It just pulls endlessly hard uh, whenever you're into that gas pedal. So that is one of the big reasons uh, for being for this M550 is uh, is really just to be like ridiculously, brutally M car fast. And as the third M performance model after the um, M240 and X4M40i, um, this M550 really is gets you know kissing close to what a real M car could be, and has a dedicated M performance engine versus an M engine. Uh, but otherwise, is really is is right about. Um, right on the knife edge, really, of, um, of what you can do to have a performance that is ridiculously strong and powerful, but also be able to flip um, into, like, sane mode, you know, normal drive home from work mode or normal drive to work mode, things like that. So, you've, so this M550 really um, excels in that dual character of being able to be a hardcore uh, track attack saloon and uh, at the same time be sort of like subtle, a little cute car-ish um, in terms of how uh, how easy it is just to, to hum down the road and not call too much attention to yourself. And then of course how comfortable it is once you've put it in comfort or adaptive, um, which is uh, this M Adaptive Suspension Plus is one of the upgrades for uh, that is optional on this vehicle. And uh, is about I think it's about $3,600 for the M uh, Adaptive Suspension. And that also includes, um, oh, what is the other feature there? 
Well, it has integral active steering and active roll stabilization. That's the other thing um, in that big package there. Um, is the active roll stabilization really smooths out any kind of um, big body lean that you might have from such a soft suspension. So this really, the car really just sort of does it all in, in being like ridiculously comfortable, yet also able to be knife edge BMW intense um, to really drive hard. So I'm in Sport Plus um, and it, for the, uh, the drive modes and the active steering and then in the sport setting for the gear lever. So this is about as sporty as, as she gets and the car feels absolutely ridiculously good. One of the biggest upgrades of this generation 5 series over the previous models is of course um, the technology is like is through the roof fantastic. I can't believe I'm to the end of this road already. It's like unbelievably fast. Um, so the technology is incredibly well integrated and uh, the performance chops are, are better than ever before. But there's another sort of hidden hidden gem in this uh, upgrade to the F body or the, uh, the F model code series which is agility this car is significantly more agile than you would ever believe is possible for a four-door sedan it really looks like uh, like an M car um, proper with its 19 inch I think 20 spoke split alloy wheels uh, 275 series 35 height tires um, and it's definitely like hardcore upgraded uh, and uh, has like ceramic matte finishes for the kidneys and then the air scarf splitter in the nose and then uh, the side uh, front fender vents are also that like sort of a dark uh, dark uh, grayish anodized metal look so that is awesome and then um, other upgrades are like the black gloss black dual exhaust tips and um, a little spoiler in back and then m550 badging and m, m sills that light up and, and lots of other goodies so this, uh, this Generation 5 Series does really uh, a lot of things exceptionally well, and that agility is a big, big part of it. So how do they make this car so agile? Well, one of the big ways is to have the trust of the X-Drive system. So even though this is a rear bias, all-wheel drive setup, it is like heavily rear drive to the point where you would break traction otherwise. Where like if, if, you, were, if you didn't have all-wheel drive in some circumstances, um, it would just not be as quick as it is. So that X-Drive really only comes into play right when the other rear-wheel drive car would have run out of capability. So let's do another launch start before we get by these bikers again. Oh, the car is absolutely ferocious. Okay, so um, so to do the launch control, it's actually really easy. You just have it in S and then uh, foot down hard. Wow. Wow. Ridiculously potent. Ridiculously strong power from this 4.4-liter uh, V8 and uh, something to definitely write home about for all BMW fans. You might be a little underwhelmed with the Sonics inside the car. Oh my god, nice. You can really feel the active, um, the active rear diff pushing power around in the back or like on front corners like that. It's very, very perceptible and really just shoves you out of there with extra power. This car is like intense to drive on this road with this level of enthusiasm because it is so fast and so capable that I know that I'm not even scratching the surface of what it can really do. But the agility is really just superb. So with that integral active steering, which just um, really is, uh, it cuts the uh, it cuts the amount of, um, of steering lock you need to put on when if you if you turn in really quickly like this like I don't need to put on much steering lock to get the car moving totally um, aggressively in that other direction so we'll do it again um, so based on how fast your input is is how fast the car responds um, not proportional to the actual amount of wheel that's being turned so that really increases um, the uh, the turn in and um, and the incisive nature of the car out of these corners I mean I'm not even out of the corner I'm still in the corner and it's just absolutely flying so what we we're saying so it doesn't sound as great from inside the car as it does from outside um, the exhaust note is pretty mellow um, and uh, from inside and, and 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 outside when you're just like doing revs at a stop but once you once you are like actually on it and driving hard this car as you'll see in the video uh, that, that hopefully is cutting over shortly is that it has a real gangster uh, gangster exhaust blat 
coming out of corners and on full throttle from the outside of the car. From inside, it's so refined and, and insulated that uh, that this, this sound that you hear from the V8 might even be acoustically enhanced through the Bowers and Wilkins stereo system, but I don't think it is. I, I mean, or if it is, it's just very lightly amplified because this motor definitely cannot keep its uh, power to itself once you get into the revs. <laughs> no, but part of that dual character of this M550 versus a pure M car is that it maintains its daily drivability, so that means uh, a fairly quiet exhaust versus uh, the upcoming M5. So how does this compare to that M5? So well, first off, that's the quickest, without even timing it, that's definitely the quickest I've ever been able to drive that road, without a doubt. Um, so how does this compare to that M5? So the 2018 M5 is going to be on the road from spring 2018 and has pricing uh, that is very, very high. It is a lot higher than the 72K sticker on this M550 as a base price. The M5 is expected to have a base price of about 95 and then we'll go up to about, uh, we'll go up significantly from there with options. In Europe, for example, it's gonna cost 118,000 euros as its base price, but um, that doesn't always directly translate to US dollar prices. So the new M5 is gonna be a lot more expensive, have a lot more exhaust bellow, and then of course uh, bumps up to a full 600 horsepower. Basically a very, very similar engine, um, same displacement and, uh, and same transmission and X-Drive system for the most part, but really um, that M5 is not gonna have the dual character of this car um, as well as well nailed as, uh, as this M550. And that dual character, of course, lets the car be like savagely ferocious and fast um, when you want to, but it can also go, I can also go into full adaptive mode um, or comfort mode and really change the character of the vehicle very, very dramatically. And then it just becomes a magic carpet. It's so smooth, so quiet, um, and so sophisticated. You would never really know that there's like a crazy uh, boy racer V8 underneath this subtle and premium design. So, do I like the M550? Yes! Oh my god, you guys, this car is so stellar. It's so good at everything it does um, that you cannot help but fall in love with it. Um, to have all this power, yet also um, so much technology and, uh, and refinement. It's like all my stuff in the trunk is flying around. It's really unbelievable. But the power of this motor is really what you're, what you're gonna write home about it's absolutely stunningly fast and stunningly capable. Uh, the in-gear speed is savage and um, and the launches with that launch control engage are really fairly dramatic. There's a big, a big, big upgrade um, versus like just that brake torque start like we said in terms of how aggressive the upshifts are um, and how much feel there is. So what people worry about with this generation of We'll, we'll talk about the options in a second, but I want to touch on one more thing with the, the steering and um, the overall feel of the sensations. So this uh, latest generation of, of BMW is sort of like that Baby 7 series in how rigid all the chassis feels um, and how easy the steering can be. But once you can put it in sport mode um, and even really in adaptive and comfort, the steering has tremendous feel. It has really good on-center stability, of course, like a BMW always will, uh, but it really does have good feel and feedback that is very, very surprising versus even the previous um, 550 and 540. So that feedback is terrific. You also have a good amount of, uh, of interplay with the throttle and brakes. I mean, you, this is, it really feels like sort of a mechanical and um, intensely physical experience. Wow. Um, like the best BMW M cars have been for a long time, but, it, but uh, when you're driving it like that, but then it can also flip in a way that um, M car, pure M cars really can't in terms of the, the ride quality and refinement and overall. Um, just uh, overall comfort levels in here are through the roof when you're not really pushing super hard. So that's all really, really good. So of course this new 5 Series is terrific as you know, but as you may also know, um, they, it is pretty, uh, BMW is pretty aggressive with um, their option packages. So it's about $72,000, $73,000 as the base price. And then we have a lot of active safety stuff on here that's like five or six grand um, for the, like the active cruise, lane keep, uh, blind spot, parking sensors, uh, surround view cam. What else does it have? It has a night vision system, which is really cool, but it's like $1,700, so may not be like fully worth it 
for uh, for people who are trying to save some bucks. And uh, and then like $3,600 Bowers and Wilkins system, uh, $1,700 for the head-up display is also like pretty pricey for such for a single feature. And um, and what other options do we have? And then we have the gesture control for $190 and uh, and a few other things that take our as tested price to. Um, <laughs> to uh, about eighty nine, th about eighty nine thousand dollars. Even let's see, it's like eighty nine. Yeah, I think it's eighty nine thousand. Um, so that is a lot more than uh, than seventy three, but it's still totally doable for most consumers uh, who are in the market for this super saloon type vehicle. Yeah, eighty eight nine eighty five, including destination charge. So pretty good there. Um, but be aware that those options do raise the tally pretty dramatically, and this test car has basically all of the options except for the um, comfort seat package so even though we've got heated seats front and rear um, uh, heated steering wheel and uh, and and the multi contour like 22 way seats we do not have cooled seats in here you need that like some kind of uh, luxury seating package or something to get the cooled seats which feels a little stingy uh, versus what uh you know the standard equipment might be in some other cars like this but not a big deal if that's the biggest complaint you have um then it's pretty much uh a gem of a car and it really is this m550 x drive makes no compromises it rides low and mean uh, with the adaptive suspension it can be either uh seriously sharp on turn in and its agility or it can go into just plush marshmallow cruiser mode really really nicely um, but throughout all that, it does have true BMW feel and um, a super a superlative level of, um, of BMW agility that really just makes uh, twisty roads like we were on shortly before this um, into like an absolute roller coaster of G-forces. Huge fan of the 2018 M550. I love this new generation of 5 Series in general with each, each, each of its engines. Um, and that includes like the 530 with the 2 liter 4, the 540. Turbo 6 um, and then the 530e high performance so all of those cars are, are are very very good as well the 530 is sort of like um, a sleeper hit um, especially that 530i performance car is uh, is much much faster than you're probably imagining uh, so it's definitely worth considering for those who don't need absolute just v8 bombastic power like this m550 has um, but for those who do this is the way to get it and to save about like 30 40 grand versus the upcoming m5 and also, you know, save yourself some, uh, some perhaps some, uh, some back pain from uh, the ride quality, which is certain to be firmer and more, much more aggressive and less forgiving than the 750. So we'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this sort of like montage of lots of different footage. And um, check out the full review over on carrevsdaily.com in the next couple weeks. See you later. Bye-bye.